is a test for a new piece of equipment which I have. I have a new mic which is a blue snowball and it's a retro style mic. So here it is, it's, I have to admit it's quite snazzy. I, bought, I actually received this as a gift from my twin brother and I have to admit really quite impressed, really really like it. So it should hopefully improve the quality of the sound of a lot of my clips. Okay, so let's get down to what my clip is all about today. So I was having my hair cut this morning, as you may well have noticed. I've had the my undercut, as I always describe it. So recently I've had a lot of my hair cut off. But in terms of that, what I've had is about three, maybe three and a half inches cut off the top. But the sides, I still like it as that undercut. When I say undercut, longer hair on the top, shorter underneath. So here, what we have is a knot, knot all the way up to a line, a very defined line, which I imagine would be around about, uh, about a one and a half, maybe a two. So slightly ever so blended, but then kept in a defined line, then in the back here, arrowed down towards the nape of my neck. Really quite a nice feature, particularly because I wear hearing aids and I like people to see the feature of my hair rather than my hearing aids the first thing they see. Okay, so my clip today, which I am very, very passionate about, of course, is styling your hair and keeping the best hair possible for the type of hair which we have. So I've done myself a few notes and what this actually came to me when I was having my hair cut this morning. So the same lady cuts my hair all the time, but she was really surprised how my hair had grown so much in between my touch-ups of the undercut, which I have. So today's clip is keeping that undercut fresh, smart, trendy, and really, really looking really, really nice and on point. Okay, so my first tip, very, very simple. Keeping that undercut regular, trimmed, and cut. So how often do I go? So every two weeks. Every two weeks, I would say, is an absolute certain. If you've got an undercut like me, the top, you can go as long as you want. The underneath here, so when I say undercut here, this, you really, if you're like me and you want it to really be looking on that style all the time and really looking nice and smart and trendy and professional, but yet quite youthful as well, you want to be having it cut two weeks. I'd say at the very most, three. You probably could push it to four. And when I say that, I mean when you've got your end cut, so you've had it cut, wearing that style which you really, really like, and then when you're coming up to the three, four week mark, perhaps then bring your hair off to the side. Because if you're going to leave your undercut grow out to four weeks or a little bit longer, and you've got your hair over at the top as an undercut, you're not gonna get that definition, you're not gonna get that style, and it's certainly not gonna look like an undercut. So I would say, Two weeks for keeping that real nice, sleek, undercut style. Three at the very most. Four at a push. And then, of course, exploring with your hair off to one side or a slightly different style until you get your undercut cut back in. Okay, so moving on slightly. This is a tip which I have done myself and I've really sort of come to terms and now I'm practicing it while I preach. So, very often if I had an undercut, I would have a one. Or I'd have a 0.5. What I would suggest to keep your undercut looking smarter for longer go a shorter grade. So for example, if you go to a 1, go to a 0.5. If you go to a 0.5, go to a 0. So mine is actually a 0. So I can't quite remember if I said a 0.5, but sometimes I get a little bit muddled up books. I, I don't necessarily ask because the lady does my hair um, all the time. So she just goes ahead and does it. I don't need to tell her how I like my undercut freshened up. So it's usually between a 0.5 and a 0, but most of the time it's a 0. So I've got that real down to the skin grade, which just knock my hearing aid out my ear. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so which makes my undercut last for a lot longer. It makes me feel a lot more youthful and a lot more trendier and smart, especially if you're going for somewhere really, really formal, for example, like an interview or if you're going to work. And then, of course, it's really, really nice for when you're sort of in that relaxed mode, you're going out with people, you're with family, and you're still looking really smart and really, really trendy. Let's move on. Okay, so an undercut. When you have an undercut, of course, you'll notice from me that you can see a lot of scalp almost through the hair. Because it's short, no matter if you've got thick, thin, or what have you, your scalp is going to show through. So if you've got a problem scalp, or if you've got something showing through on your scalp, it's going to show. So this point, or tip as you call it, may be applicable to you. But what I always find is really, really helpful is using something like a scalp tonic or something which looks after your scalp. There is nothing worse than going to style your hair and you grab a mirror and you look at the back of your head and you can see there's like a slight rash or there's a slight mark or perhaps you've got quite a dry scalp. So really looking after your scalp, making sure that your scalp is in the best possible environment and health. When I say that, a lot of people don't necessarily think about it in this way, which I actually try to. Your scalp, of course, is an extension of your face. 
when people look after their face and they and they use creams and lotions and things on their face of course for dry skin you want to make your your face look youthful keep your face looking younger for longer and really just keeping up on the moisture if you're going through the winter and there's lots of cold weather out there having a barrier cream on your face is really really important um, it's nothing worse when you go out in the weather and you've got really really tight skin and it gets sore gets dry think of that for your scalp if you are not using anything on your scalp to look after your scalp particularly because you've got an undercut you will be able to see and it's really quite unsightly for anybody who wants to look good and they want to have that really great looking undercut what I would probably recommend is using like a scalp tonic. I actually use one. Um, so very often what I do after washing my hair and then conditioning my hair, whichever range you choose to use, of course we all have different budgets. Sometimes what's cheaper might be better, what's more expensive might be better as well. But a scalp tonic really looks after your scalp. And of course in turn it keeps your undercut looking fresher for longer. Okay, moving on. So just referring to my notes here. So this is something which I was thinking about as well. And it was a bit of a chat for the lady who cuts my hair. Um, the same person's cut my hair for a very, very long time. She was actually in the year below me at school. So I've kind of kept that rapport and that relationship kind of going, which is really important for somebody to understand, know your hair, know your scalp, and know what you like and what you don't like. That's another tip actually there, isn't it? Keeping your hair in the best possible condition and your undercut smarter for longer. Chat to somebody who knows you. Have, a, have somebody cut your hair who has that rapport with you and knows what you're trying to achieve. But what I actually went in to say there was, very often, with an undercut, a lot of people may well be more inclined to, of course, concentrate on the top of the hair, on the top of the scalp, rather, and washing that part of your hair. And then for the back, just running it through quickly. And what are you doing wrong there? You're not actually getting that scalp invigorated around the sides. You're not looking after the, your scalp with those products in the shampoo or conditioner so they can do their work. It might well be essential oils in the shampoo or conditioner if you're using it for thinning hair. If it's a thicker hair, it might not have stripped all the product buildup out of your hair. So it's really, really important to pay attention, even though this is next to the skin and is as short as short could probably be if you're going for a zero grade, it's really important to cleanse this part of your hair thoroughly. So really massaging and really getting that scalp going and really stimulating that scalp. With shampoo, very often what my tip would always be is shampoo the product out which you've got in your hair first of all, then go back in and shampoo your hair a second time. First, gets rid of all the product buildup. The second, those properties, what's in the shampoo conditioner, let me correct that, in the shampoo, of course, because I wouldn't recommend conditioning twice unless you wanted to, but on your second shampoo, those products, what's in your shampoo, are going to start to work on your scalp, not just concentrating on stripping out those products. Okay, so my very last, just referring through here, is product choice, of course. It's really, really important. Keeping your uppercuts fresher and longer. I thought I made a mistake there, but we didn't. Keeping it fresher and looking more smarter, more trendy, and just overall making you look as good as long as possible with the chosen hairstyle is product choice. Okay, so product choice, what do we mean by that? For example, if you've got longer hair on the top and you're wanting to create that really nice style of uppercuts, making sure you get that texture, that body, that volume in your hair is really, really important. So for example, using texturizing pastes, matte clays, getting that lift, getting that shape in your hair, really, really important. Of course, if you've got a longer length of hair on top, very often an undercut can leave you with a bit of a shelf. And I say shelf sounds ridiculous, but in fact, where I've not got much product on, it's happening to me now, where it's sort of buffs out a little bit at the side that's not necessarily because of how i've got my hair sort of over and on the side here you've got a small little bit it doesn't really matter too much but keeping it looking as smart for as long as possible using like a, a wax product or some sort of free spray to really even on your even on your palms of your hand or on your hair and really making that tame in as you can see it looks better and smarter without having that sort of buffed out bit at the side. So product choice is really, really key. Another one which I would recommend as well, if you have got an uppercut, is using something like a texturizing powder. If you've got fine hair, if you have got that longer length hair on top, it's always gonna give you the illusion of thicker hair, fuller hair, and much more hair than what you might actually have if you're using something like a texturizing powder. Schwarzkopf Got To Be range, do one, which is really, really good, which you tap into the roots of your hair, and it's in like a small bottle. It's not very expensive at all, it's around about the three pounds range. And a lot of hair products for men and women have these powders. And what they do is they lift the hair away from the scalp and they give you the illusion of much more hair and it stands much more fuller, thicker, and it gives you much more structure. So as a, as a man trying to create an uppercut, it would be a perfect product for making your uppercut look smarter and in the best possible condition for as long as possible. Okay, so that was my tips for the best uppercut possible.
and for keeping it looking as longer and fresher as long as possible. Okay, so I really, really enjoyed that clip, and I hope maybe you may even have took some clip, uh, points away from that. Um, I've had my hair in an uppercut sort of style for quite a long time, you could say, in different variations. I recently just had quite a lot of my hair cut off, um, but the main point is really just looking after and trying to keep this part of your hair as good looking as the top and the main bulk of your hair as well. And of course, that all brings together that really nice style. Okay, once again, thank you very much for watching my clip. And until next time, we will see you then. Bye now. Yes, it's me again. Just as we were finishing the clip, which really sprung to my mind was, rather than just telling you about the products which I suggested, why don't I just run through them very quickly with you. So just going back to when we, uh, I brought up the point about having the best possible uh, scalp uh, environment for the uppercut here and making it look as good as possible for as long as possible for your, your uppercuts is using a scalp tonic which keeps the scalp or this part here of the hair with the scalp where it's down to really really a short grade if you've got an uppercut um, it's really good to use something like a tonic spray or something which looks after that environment for your hair which you can so see and it's so visible in your style the one i use and really really like is the nourishing daily scalp tonic this one here is by the thicker fuller hair range okay it's got organic quinola and pea sprout i have reviewed this on my channel as well but it's a really nice product and it gets in there it really looks after this part of your hair as well as your whole scalp and it fights away any sort of effects which might be giving you fine or thinning hair it's not a miracle worker but it really really does look after your scalp and give you that perfect sort of nice smooth look in your style which you can see so you can have that uppercut and you've got no marks no sort of horrible itchiness no tightness or anything on your hair and of course if you use it on the top of your scalp it keeps your hair thick and full just go into some ingredients here which we have got so we've got quinola we've got pea sprout and a vital mineral boost okay and that's got a lot of different products in here which is going to be looking after our scalp so copper magnesium sink so that rejuvenates the scalp uh, surface with rich indulgent blend of essential minerals you've got the quinola which helps repair and protect hair strands benefits accumulate throughout repeated use and then we've got here feed your scalp as a daily shot of essential nutrients that create the optimum conditions for healthy looking hair visibly thicker fuller hair achieved hair goals realized okay and then in here as well i am sure that we have caffeine yes absolutely so anybody who knows me i'm a real advocate for products with caffeine in it gives you the real perfect environment for the best possible hair growth prevention is always better than cure and of course if you're going to make your uppercut look better for a lot longer if you're going to keep these parts of your scalp looking really really cool uh, um and of course soothed and healthy as well so no marks or anything on your scalp okay moving on very very quickly when we said about using the right products for an uppercut looking at much fresher keeping it looking really good and cool for as long as possible this is a recently product uh, which i've purchased and i'm absolutely loving it it's by the schwarzcroft got to be roaring high sprayable clay constructor for quiff styles texture define and matte hold so it's a clay spray basically and once you've dried your hair off you've shampooed conditioned to really get that lift in an uppercut especially if you've got sort of a short as me here and you want that lift so you've got that really nice style literally holding your hair off spraying it all through it's a little bit damp but whilst you comb through it helps you create that style and it really gives you that lift and that strong structure in your hair first of all when i used it, it wasn't so sure but after a couple of times that wetness dies away and it dries out and you're left with this really cool structure to be able to help you style your hair much easier moving on with the other product choice when i talked about lifting paste sort of putties clays that type of thing lifting that hair away from the scalp and helping you create the best hair possible Another one of my favourites, it's not expensive, it's a high street brand, it's VO5 Lifting Paste Extreme Style and Standing Lift and Fuller Hair Reworkable Hold. Now I do know, I've got this one because I've had this one for a little while now, but VO5 have changed their packaging so it might look slightly different, but anything for a lifting paste or which boasts lift is really going to work with you for that uppercut style and it's really really nice. It's like a creamy clay sort of formulation, rub about half a golf ball size amount through your hands or less, again less is more and then build up. So don't just go with that huge clump of product. Use less and then keep going back in and build and build and build on that. So those are the products which I use. I really, really enjoy for keeping my uppercut looking as fresh and smart and really just the best possible for as long as possible. Okay, thanks once again and thanks very much for watching. Until next time, we will see you then. Bye now.